It's a capital derby that always seems to carry with it a compelling story. And these two sides are loved by their respective fan groups. Stay tuned, we'll bring you all the action live from the Bernabeu as Real Madrid face Atletico. Two proud Madrid clubs founded in 1902 and 1903, respectively. I'm talking about Real and Atletico, and here we are at the Bernabeu, ready for action. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. A lot to look forward to here, Stuart. Well, Derek, I love watching both of these teams for different reasons, but that's what makes it so interesting. Let's hope we're not disappointed today. Let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Kepa begins in goal. Fernando Mendy starts with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Federico Valverde plays with Luka Modric in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Griezmann. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. And this is the starting lineup for Atletico. Jan Oblak stands between the posts. Saul starts alongside Koke in central midfield. And up front, Morata starts alongside Antoine Griezmann. On a player you simply cannot take your eyes off, midfield strategist Luka Modric. Stuart, what sort of display do you think we'll see from Modric as far as this game is concerned? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight... Oh, end. Stuart, they might be onto something. Well, he had the chance. He went for power. He might be regretting that now. Well, he got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor miss. Oh, dear. Well, that's not one that's going to linger long in the memory. Well, he had a go there. Nothing wrong with that. But he's got that all wrong. Rodrigo. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Corner kick delivery from Tony Kroos. Danger still on. Rodrigo. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Well, in the final analysis, his timing just wasn't there. Well, it's always difficult to hit those perfectly. And unfortunately for him, he got that all wrong. Rodrigo, and he's made headway, and it goes, Real Madrid take the lead in the derby, and just look at the fans, utterly delighted. Well, let's look at this again, and the keeper just lost his bearings there, he was never in the right position, he won't want to see that again. then Let's see if Atletico having conceded can wipe out that last goal <laughs> Axel Witzel and a strong tackle effective looking pass Atletico get the free kick decision their way Interception to snuff out the danger. Marcos Llorente. Llorente. Chance here. Oh, there it is. A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted nearly minutes.
So back underway, they've levelled it at 1 1 here. Carvajal. Well, lovely work to get past his man. Played in there by Danny Carvajal. And still dangerous. Well, what a stop it was. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top class piece of goalkeeping. Not a harmless effort when all is said and done. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Lino. Koke. Atletico unable to retain possession. And threading it through. Delivery by Vinicius is put into such a dangerous area and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, what delight for Ancelotti. That's just what he wanted. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Samuel Lino. Perfect tackle. Oh, great vision. Real did well to regain control of the ball. And you need your defender to take charge. Long way out. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. And stopping the danger. Well, he prevented it from going over the line. Well, Atleti are hanging on here. Had they gone two down, they really would be up against it. Well, taking advantage of the rub of the green is all part of football. Opportunity to level it. And they've done it. A goal who now are level. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. So back underway, the game having been squared at 2-2. Mendy. Here's Carvajal, Valverde, Modric unable to hang on to the ball. Now options are plenty, Atletico regaining possession. Lino. That's a good-looking ball. Koke. Now Griezmann. Rodrigo. Can he do it to take the lead? Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. And that is that half-time here in the Spanish capital. Luka Modric, a man at the hub of so many things creative, bringing his influence to bear, Stuart. Yes, Derek, he was a real nuisance in the first half. Scored his goal, made lots of good runs, and he could be the match winner. Second half excitement to come, we hope, here at the Bernabeu.
chance for him to get in behind, maybe. There it is! And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. As you can see, he's first to react, he's first to the ball, and he deserves his goal. That's an excellent finish. Well, the game has been restarted. 3-2 here. Saul. Lino. Making progress. And this to level it. A smart stop here. One terrific save after another. And Real Madrid have the ball again. Samuel Lino on the ball Morata possession one Tony Kroos Koke Axel Witzel Koke with it Samuel Lino Atletico might fancy their chances from this position. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back heel, isn't it? And what a good finish from Griezmann. He strikes it so cleanly. It really is a well-taken goal. Well, they needed that, and so did he. Just look at the manager's relief there. Back underway, and quite the story being written in this one. Three all. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Opportunity! Oh, did so well to deny him. Griezmann tasked with taking the corner and he clears the danger but it looked highly promising but they got nothing out of it can they do something positive on the counter attack well it fizzled out Griezmann Mendy Denied by the bar. Back in play here. Well, they can keep possession now. Well, Real was so close to taking the lead there. But if they keep making chances, it's surely only a matter of time before they do Hang so. Hang on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. And a really good stop. Well, that's a save of the highest quality. Great goalkeeping there. It is an Atletico substitution. Whipped in by Griezmann and knocked out of there. Advantage Atletico. And is at the moment for Morata. Wonderful block. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure. And a throw coming up after that authoritative challenge. Nicely timed tackle. Morata. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. Out of play and an Atleti throw in forthcoming. And in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through.
Saúl. Rodrigo de Paul. And return to Saúl. And options in the centre. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And he might be through here. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. And Bellingham must take the lead here. And they have, you've got to say, it has been coming. Here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Ten minutes left for play. Yes, man. Now the attack fizzled out. Throw in for Atletico. Savage. Jan Oblak with it. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go and just one goal between them. Atletico get the free kick decision their way. And here's a change now for Atletico. Atletico Madrid know they're not going to get too many more chances. Time is a factor. Well, no way through. Breaking at pace. Have to pay attention defensively. Can he finish them off? He's done it! What a climax to this game! Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Line we see all that often. 5 3. Correa. Able to skip past his man. And a goal to tighten things up. They've thrown themselves a lifeline. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end but you still have to be in the right place. Keep your composure and finish it off. And that's exactly what he did. Well, as you can tell from his body language, Ancelotti's not pleased with his team. They seem to be in complete control of this match. Well, I must say, I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. And the referee says that will do it. It's the end of the game and it's a victory for Real Madrid. The fans are going to be happy with this. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.